because I think we were the only two people we had ever met who felt rock and roll was everything. Do you think that the curiosity that you had as as a human brought you to Bruce and you to each other? I mean, you've known each other literally kids, most all of your lives, teenagers. right? What do you think attracted you guys to each other, one to the other? I, I think it was, uh, you know, there was a lot of people starting to play rock and roll in those days, but it wasn't quite really a legitimate business until the 70s. Yeah. So it was kind of, it was still kind of freaky to, to, to be in a rock and roll band in the 60s. And, um, and we just, we bonded immediately because I think we were the only two people we had ever met who felt rock and roll was everything. You know, not just a hobby, not just something on the weekend or, you know. You had a work ethic. You, know. you had a work ethic for rock and roll. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. and, 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 and it, it became our religion. It, certainly in my case, it became my, literally my religion. I mean, it became everything to me. And, and he was the only one I had ever met who felt the same way. So we kind of strengthened each other's, uh, you know, freakiness at the time. <laughs> <laughs> was, it, was it really that, that night in front of the TV on Ed Sullivan when the Beatles came out? What was it, February 64? Not nine. Was February that, 9th. Was that like the gargantuan moment for you? You're like, oh my God, this is what I'm doing. I forget everything else. For me, the Beatles um, revealed a whole new world to us that was exactly what, right on time for me, because I had no interest in anything else going on in society, whatever society was offering me, I didn't relate to. And so um, they revealed this new world, but, but we discovered them halfway through the career. You know, they'd been going since 57, they were gone in 69. And, and at that point, they were extremely sophisticated and, and really, really good. I mean, the harmony was perfect, their hair, their clothes. You know, they were just uh, this, these perfect, you know, aliens from another planet. So <laughs> they, re they revealed a new world, but, you know, it was a little bit uh, intimidating as far as, you know, thinking you could yeah. do it. And luckily, four months later, the Rolling Stones came. And the Rolling Stones made it look easier than it was, okay? They were very casual. They wore what they felt like. You know, right. their it hair was wasn't opposite. perfect. Right, you know? right, 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 right. It was right. a little grittier. No, okay. no, no, no harmony, no harmony, you know, really at that time. You know, so like uh, the way I like to put it is the Beatles revealed a new world to us and the Rolling Stones invited us in. But, you know, yeah. Bruce, and, and being a part of E Street, you guys also evolved and changed music in a whole other Oh my God, yeah. Broad, huge way, mo monumental.